Hey guys, all right, this is a quick tutorial to Pull Over by Trina. It's one of my favorite old school songs, but it is kind of fast. Um, so I wanted to break down the steps real quick for you guys um, here on video so you can go back and um, you know reference it later. This choreography is not my choreography. Um, I believe it's by a guy named Ken Dorsey, but I learned it at a Dallas fitness event years ago. Um, so the way it starts off is we're gonna rock and one, two, three, and rock, your arms go with you. One, two, three, rock, one, two, three, rock, one, two, three. Okay, so you're gonna do that twice. And then you're gonna go, your feet are gonna go in, out, in, out. While they're doing that, your hands are gonna go in, in, double, double. So in, in, double, double. Now, if that feels a little bit too much at first, try just starting with the feet, or you can keep the feet still and just rock one, one and two, okay? So the first part is gonna go rock, one, two, three, and rock, one, two, three, and uh, uh, one, two, okay? Go through that twice. Then you're gonna kind of come up, one, two, three, come up, one, two, three, come up, one, two, three, got me? Okay, then number four, you're gonna, you can graduate this in a couple of ways. You're gonna go one, two, three, other side. One, two, three. Now, when you get a little more advanced, you know, you might sometimes see me do this. One, two, three, and one, two, one, two, three, and one, two, one, two, three. It doesn't matter if you use your feet or not, right? As long as you're moving. So let's break down the verse one more time. We're gonna go rock, one, two, three, rock, one, two, three, and one, one, and two, one, one, and two, bring it up, up, one, two, three, and up, one, two, three, and one, two, three, pop it, one, two, three, then we go into the chorus, so what we're going to do is lead off here, and you're going to step, kick to the back, step, kick to the front, and when I do that, my arm's gonna go with me. So I'm gonna step, kick to the back, step, kick to the front. That's it, you just do that a couple of times. So then after you do that a couple of times, you have the choice to kind of graduate that move. So what we're gonna do, you might see me do this. So you're gonna go step, kick, and then drop it down as far as you can. If you can only go this far, that's fine too. Step, kick, drop it down, okay? So, what that's gonna look like, a little bit sped up, is step, kick, and down. Step, kick, uh, step, kick, pop it, step, kick, and down, yes. And always remember, keep your abs tight when you're doing any move, especially when, when you drop down, you wanna protect that lower back. And also, if you're not confident, and dropping down that far, don't do it. Because sometimes, unless we practice at home, we can get hype in the moment and do something quick like that and really hurt ourselves. So my disclaimer is, don't hurt yourself over it. <laughs> um, okay, so then we have a little bridge part when we're almost done with the song, and the guy goes, whoop, whoop. So you're gonna go, whoop, whoop, punch, punch, whoop, whoop, punch, punch. Punch, punch, all right? So, easy peasy. The entire routine is a pattern. Always remember that. You always do the same moves over and over. So, there's no reason that you should feel like you can't get it because the moves are gonna come back around. Now, one thing I wanna let you guys know um, ahead of time is that on the second verse, um, after we do our rock, rock, and one, one, and two, one, one, and two. After we go through that sequence a couple of times, it's gonna go straight into the chorus with the kick. So don't be alarmed when you see that. 
I'm going to film the entire routine um, start to finish. If you guys have any questions, let me know. But this is for the people who take my class. I wanted you to have something that you can reference. Um, and by the way, this is the first tutorial that I've done since my hip surgery 14 weeks ago. So thank you guys for watching. I'm not where I want to be completely yet, but after 10 years, one thing I know is that fitness is like a roller coaster, and the most important thing is just don't get off. See you guys later.